Hi, I hope you're well. Now, today I'm going to show you a really quick, really easy, real-time tutorial, and it's a hair tutorial because I haven't done one for a while. Now, it's a low side bun using one of my favourite contraptions, which is this little fella here. It's a sock bun or donut or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to make a start and I'm going to talk you through. So essentially, as it's going to sit in the middle as a low bun, I'm just going to bring the hair gently to the side and I'm just putting the donut through about here so I've got this much hair sticking out now then what you do is you split the hair in two and then simply fan your fingers around and actually tuck quite neatly as I'm going along grabbing hold of all the hair and just don't let it escape tuck it into the bun I've done a similar tutorial with a side bun. The principle is the same, you're tucking. What makes this one a little bit tricky is because of the way our arms are, you need to really start it from the side, but then you need to engineer it so it goes into the centre. I'm just tucking and I'm getting towards the nape of the neck. Now if you see when I let go, it stays, but it's not perfect. So I'm tucking the end bits. A little bit more until I'm in a happy place with it which hopefully will be in a moment the beauty of this hair I have to say is you can call it a messy bun if it's not quite perfect or you can call it a very neat bun nobody really needs to know because it's really how it works with this bun so what I'm doing at the end, so you can see, is just feeling with my hand any loose bits and just tucking them in. So I'm getting any loose bits and pinching them in. And what I would say with this is that it really is about not overworking and not over-engineering. So I've got to the nape now and essentially I'm in quite a happy position because I've tucked it in as much as possible. The over-engineering bit comes in if I continue to do so and actually ruin the look. So, what I'm left with is a side bun that just sits quite neatly. Now, if you're going to um, a wedding, for example, I was at um, a party recently, it's a birthday party, and I actually did this and I wore it with an Asian suit, a shawa kameez, and you can actually do it wearing um, anything. You can dress it up or down with a dress. You can even wear it to work. It's quite straightforward. And it actually stays. Now, it has stood the test of time on my hair before, and it's the, thing, the kind of thing that you assume you're going to need lots of pins for. But it, it does sit quite comfortably. Now, I've got it in my hair now, and essentially, with your fringe, you can actually sweep it, which is what I've done previously so you end up with sort of a sweep like this or you could just tuck it away but it gives you a lot of versatility and a lot of room to move and actually it's not also overly done whereas you know sometimes you can get a high um, bun and actually it just looks a bit too much it just looks a bit too Asian bride so there you have it in about three minutes with a lot of chatter and a bit of fuss it's a straightforward low bun that you can actually wear up or down as you will um, stays in the hair, gets you out of a slight greasy spot with the help of chlorine shampoo and in my view it's really straightforward and really wearable. So I hope you found that useful, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. If you have please do subscribe, give me a thumbs up because I need it and um, that would be great. I've got more tutorials on my YouTube channel so do check it out and I hope to see you soon. Bye!